Rock and roll icon Tina Turner sent a somber Instagram message about her kidney disease two months before she passed away suddenly, and former President Barack Obama visited her grave. On March 9, International World Kidney Day, Turner, 83, talked openly about her health issues, admitting that by ignoring her 1978 diagnosis of hypertension, she placed her life in grave danger. Turner remarked, my kidneys are the victims of my ignorance that my high blood pressure should have been managed with conventional medicine. By refusing to accept the fact that I require daily, lifelong therapy with medication, I have put myself in grave danger. The singer of What's Love Got To Do With It passed away on Wednesday in her home in Switzerland from an undisclosed illness. It is still unknown if her kidneys played a direct role in her demise. In her March essay, Turner added, for far too long I believed that my body was an untouchable and indestructible bastion, which provided an insight into her dying days. Turner explained how she wanted to be remembered in a terrifying interview with The Guardian from April, and she also said she didn't dread dying. The Guardian questioned, how would you like to be remembered? As the reigning queen of rock and roll, as a female role model who encouraged other females to pursue success on their own terms. When asked what about growing older scared here, she said, nothing. I welcome and accept every day of this full-fledged journey that is life. Celebrities and prominent people flock to social media to pay tribute to Turner while sharing images of her performance. Late on Wednesday, the late signer was recognized by the former President Obama, who referred to her as unstoppable. He shared a picture of Turner showing off in a silver dress with sparkling details and black lace trim. Tina Turner wasn't filtered. She was strong. She could do no wrong. She spoke and sang her truth through pleasure and agony, success and tragedy, and she was unabashedly herself, Obama wrote. Today we honor the queen of rock and roll, and a star whose light will never fade, say admirers from all across the world. The Tennessee-born singer is well known for her enthralling live performances, but at her last public performance, she was fragile and needed assistance walking. Turner was last saw in public in November 2019 when she was unable to stand on her own while attending the Broadway premiere of the musical about her life. In the majority of pictures from the occasion, she is seen sitting down. Her husband, Erwin Baugh, and Oprah Winfrey assisted her as she walked the red carpet. Turner said that she was unaware of her options when hypertension was first diagnosed. She told the European Health Kidney Alliance in March of this year, I can't remember ever getting an explanation about what high blood pressure means or how it affects the body. I saw having high blood pressure as the norm. I didn't really attempt to manage it as a result. Turner's ailment was ignored, and in 2009, she had a stroke. Three weeks after her almost 30-year marriage to German music producer Erwin Barr, she had another in 2013. She received an intestine cancer diagnosis three years later, in 2016. Her renal problems continued even after doctors removed a portion of her intestine. Turner stopped taking her medications after experiencing unfavorable side effects from her therapy for hypertension and tried homeopathy instead. Her husband Ba finally donated his kidney to save her life when the findings caused renal failure. Turner said in an interview with the European Kidney Health Alliance that the surgery, which was performed in April 2017, was mostly successful despite the fact that she continued to have modest side effects including nausea and vertigo. The months following the transplant were, in her words, marked by a never ending up and down. My body occasionally attempted to reject the donor kidney, as happens regularly after transplantation. This occasionally resulted in additional hospital admissions. I was forgetting stuff, becoming queasy, and was quite afraid. These issues have still not been fully rectified. I carefully follow my doctor's directions and take many prescription medications because I am confident in them and their treatments. She described the dread of having a stroke in her 2018 memoir, My Love Story. She stated, that's when I realized I couldn't stand on my own. I was too ashamed to ask for assistance. I had legs for days and dancing-related muscles of steel, but I lacked the energy to stand up.
I was so terrified that I dragged myself over to a sofa while maintaining the mental image that Tina Turner being crippled was impossible. I questioned whether I would ever be able to dance in high heels again. In March 2021, Turner was spotted in one of her final public images as she watched the HBO documentary's world debut. Only five days remain. The documentary Tina will be launched on Saturday, she wrote. I'm really happy to show you this movie since seeing the concert scenes brought back some of my happiest memories. I had to sing along and dance in my living room, obviously. When the singer was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame seven months later, the world saw her for the last time. Turner made a video instead of going to Cleveland, Ohio, for the event. Turner remarked in a pre-recorded video statement that was aired on October 30, 2021, If they are still giving me awards at 81, I must have done something right. I'm overjoyed to have it. The next day, on October 2031, she published a photo of herself accepting the honor. She said in the photo's caption, As you can tell from my beaming smile, I am thrilled to now be officially inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo artist. What a privilege. I appreciate all of my loved ones, especially you, my fans, who supported me and believed in me along my trip. Continue rocking.